Our next stop on our five month journey was to Cambodia. And, uh, okay, now we are in Cambodia, so I'll be able to visit my family to see my little sister, my niece, my uncle and auntie, and then a lot of family and friends there. So it's very wonderful to see them once in a while. They'd be happy to see us. Yeah, yeah. And I always like going there because it's like going back maybe a hundred years, you know, your village is so uh, remote and actually it's sort of primitive. You, your village just got, remember what was it like about a year ago, year and a half ago, you just got the uh, electricity and mm -hmm. no running water to the houses. They have to catch it from the uh, top of the roof. And uh, they do have somewhat of a bathroom there, little squat bathroom, but it worked out okay. Uh, nice cold showers there. Yeah. It worked out fine because it's a hot, hot, hot weather. Yeah, and we slept on the floor at your uh, uh, sister's house, so that was that's uh, that wood was a little hard, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Easy to get through the customs there, and uh, I had to pay twenty-five dollars for my visa, and it lasted for thirty days, and then later I was able to renew it. For another 90 days it cost me $65 to do that and they're not so restrictive on your time frame there as long as you keep getting your visa renewed and you don't have to leave the country like you have to do in some other countries you can get it renewed by just going to a travel agent and that's quite convenient so after leaving the village we head off to Phnom Penh where we're gonna get settled we're gonna get an apartment there we looked around and so we found this apartment and uh, quite nice, very comfortable. We enjoyed that there. We had two rooms. Actually, we had a uh, washing machine in the room and that made it very convenient so we could do our own wash. And you like to go to the market in the morning and buy all your food and uh, that way you could eat at home a lot and you could have some of those delicious Cambodian uh, meals that you cook. So very comfortable and nice way to go to have an apartment with all that uh, conveniences of cooking and preparing your own food. In the early morning there in Phnom Penh, it was so hot that we would walk, get up about like five in the morning and go for our morning walk. Me, I get up early in the morning too. Jerry go for walk and then I go to Zumba, enjoy the Zumba group. It's it got a lot of fun in Phnom Penh. <laughs> yeah, they danced and man, the music was loud and everything else. And that's what you get in, in, in Asia. Loud music, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not loud music, it's not Asia. That's right. Well, we had to go see the Killing Fields, which is a very moving experience to go where you know, thousands of people had been killed through the Khmer Rouge, you know, overtake of the country. And uh, we've been there before and we shot a video about it. And it was, I mean, it was hard for me to even talk in the videos when I, that we made there just because it's so touching and the presence there. It's such a beautiful place. We highly recommend it to go see the killing fields. Even so, you feel like you don't want to go. You feel it's going to be sad but it really makes you appreciate who you are, what you have now. And it's always good to have a memory, a reminder of history and how bad things can go. Now talking about accommodations and stuff like that, you will find a range of accommodation. You can get rooms from as low as $5 a night. They're they're, you know, flea infested, but I wouldn't go to them. But realistically, you can get a nice room anywhere from about $9 up. And uh, so, and a lot of them will, on the $9 level, you're looking at a fan and no air conditioning, but you'll have a bathroom in the room there. But if you want to go for maybe a little bit higher than that, $22 and up, you can get an air conditioning and uh, very comfortable. And you remember, you get it cleaned every day too. So that makes it convenient. One of the things that's really nice about Phnom Penh is the restaurants. There's a variety of restaurants, you know, from Ca a lot of Cambodian food. Of course, you're in Cambodia. What do you expect? But uh, you have Italian, you even have Mexican, you have French food, uh, Greek. Uh, we went and found a uh, Iranian restaurant. So there's a lot of different things, Indian food. And so 
And the price in there, you probably, if you're going to eat on the street, you're probably looking at a dollar per meal to three dollars a meal. And restaurants in there, you're probably looking at for a nice meal anywhere from three dollars and fifty cents to six dollars would be maybe an average inside a restaurant. Well, nowadays, you don't have to use the Cambodia money, the real, but you can use U.S. dollars. And that's sort of convenient. And uh, you can use the real for small stuff, but typically you're going to use the U.S. dollar. Don't go away. There's part three. We're going to head off to Vietnam and then finishing up at the beaches in Cambodia. Surprise. Our new surprise is we're going to move to Mexico. Uh, so we've lived there before, and we're going back and uh, to a beautiful area in uh, in Mexico, and we're going to have some videos on that upcoming, of course, because we'll share with you some other prices and what it costs <laughs> to live in Mexico as we enjoy it. So uh, look forward to our trip to Mexico. Woohoo!